Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Don't Escape 4 Days in a Wasteland. If you remember Don't Escape, or if you don't remember Don't Escape, here is a synopsis of what it is. Ah, uh, you don't escape. That, there's been three other games before this. It started out as a Flash game that was trying to like reverse the concept of an escape room. Well, why am I giving you a history lesson? It doesn't matter. This is Don't Escape 4. The games were amazing. They're made by Script Welder. They're really cool. Let's do this. Good. Glad we got that out of the way. Oh, also, they're horror games. If I didn't mention that. You probably noticed because the whole intro sequence was so spooky. That door- that door's got some issues on it! Left click to interact, right click to examine. Okay. A sturdy looking door. Now you say sturdy looking door, I say shifting in and out of the plane of existence of reality that we're in. A kind of like trans-dimensional door. What about the chimney? Oh, yeah. Also, Script Welder has like a really unique pixelated style for their games. Like, just- it's really cool. It's locked. Why am I not surprised? Is that what I want though? Oh! Oh God! Oh God, no! No, wait, no! Wait, was that bad? Was that good? What a nightmare. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. It all felt so real. Yeah, maybe it was the stinging and laying eggs in my eyes. My backpack. I'm not going anywhere without it. Alright, well, got my backpack. Use the backpack icon to access your inventory. Notice you have a limited carry capacity. Uh, move my head for a moment! Nice. Okay, so that's where my backpack is. But, uh, I guess my head is gonna move to the other side of the screen in three, two, one! <laughs> okay, good. Now we're good. Okay, a sad pile of ash. It gets really cold in the desert at night. I think this tent served me well long enough. It's too damaged to keep using it. I'll just leave it here. That's not a good idea. Tent, torn and damaged by the wind, it won't be of much use to me now. Okay. The moon broken into pieces. You got a story behind that or are you just gonna say that the moon's broken to pieces? It's shattered just like all the dreams humankind ever had. Okay, Mr. Depressing. All right, thank you for that. That's that's real nice. Well, I don't see nothing else. So uh, I guess here we go Run I don't like the look of this cloud. It seems to be moving this way. Yeah, you know what? You're right about that. I think my nightmare might have been more than just a dream. I still have a couple of hours, but I have to find a shelter. Fast. Oh yeah, wait, hang on. You saying that you have powers of foresight? Journal. Okay, here we go. November 21st, 1996. It's been a while since I've written anything here. The world is dead, so they say. So why even bother? I think the moon, what's left of it anyway, is getting bigger every day. I had a weird dream last night. It felt so real. I was attacked by a swarm of giant bugs or locusts. I don't know. All I know is that it was painful as hell when they stripped the meat off my bones. This morning I saw something that looked like a dark cloud on the horizon. I know it's not. Really a cloud. The swarm is coming. I have to find a place to hide. Oh, the swarm, you say? All right, okay. I love this game already. I'm so into this. Love the setting, love everything about it. I'm all, I'm, I'm down. An old wall with a small wooden shed. I mean, I guess I got nothing else to do, so I guess I might as well go for it. I don't have time to walk around this wall. Well, good thing there's a nice human-sized hole. It's got to be a faster way to get to the other side. It's like Blue's Clues. Do you see a way to get to the other side? While your time is limited, keep in mind it only advances with certain actions. You will be warned each time before that happens. When you find a hiding place and prepare it for the night, use the clock icon to finish the current day. All right, then. If it was a bit bigger, I could probably get to the other side. All right. One particular wooden pole seems to be in good condition. All right, I'll take that. Oh, no. For instance, this wooden pole in the ground seems to be stuck. Pulling it out will be difficult, but with some effort, you should be able to get it. This action will take three minutes. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess that's not that much time. Hang on, let's, let's hold on here a second. I wonder what's inside. All right, let's, let's see what's inside the shed before we do anything. Oh. A sledgehammer head. A sledgehammer head. All right, so if I combine it with this pole here. Uh, see, I ain't too dumb. Here we go. Solid wooden pole, solid wooden sledge. And let's sledge this wall. Habooski! Nice. I can get through to the other side of the wall. All right, I guess that's what I want to do, right? I'm taking everything very slow and cautiously. You guys know that I'm not one to rush into danger, so I don't want to rush into anything that I'm going to regret. Can get through. Well, I guess I could come back, but I don't know if I want to, so... <laughs> Here we go! Oh, that's not good. It's some sort of quicksand. I'm too heavy. 
I should get rid of that sledgehammer. Okay, drop an item on the arrow button to put it on the ground. Okay, well, I don't want to, but here we go. Press shift to highlight dropped items. Shift? Oh, all right, well, maybe I shouldn't drop it right there, you know what I mean? Maybe I should drop it over here. That's so cool, though. Like a persistent item thing. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, let's do this. Ugh. All right. I guess I have to keep walking. Vast desert lies ahead. It's a long walk, though you have no other way to traverse it. This action will take 50 minutes. It's 7.03. I mean, yeah, I got nothing else to do, right? Whoa. And the journey... Oh. That's pretty cool! Alright, I'm down for this. Nice tutorial. Story-based tutorial. It's nice. Matus, script welder. So, uh, okay, I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try that last name. Wow. Wow. I'm excited about this. This is a good intro sequence. Give me hype for it. That's pretty cool. If you haven't seen the other, uh, Don't Escape games, or if you haven't played them for yourself, I'll put it in the description below. Like, they're not story connected, but thematically, you know, they're all about not escaping. You know what I mean? Trying to find a shelter, trying to shore it up, trying to make it nice. Well, this place looks promising. All right, sure, yeah. Is this a dick butt gas station sign? That was close. Road east, road west. Uh, path leads up to a hill, a decent looking farmhouse. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna need anything from a gas station yet, so I might as well just go for the house, I suppose. Let's do a decent looking farmhouse. Uh, let's go to the first place first. Oh no. Wait a minute. I remember that window. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hang on a second. It's locked! I have to break that glass if I want to get inside. Um, alright, let's go find some. If only I had my trusty sledgehammer, maybe I could sludge humor that thing. Water sprayer, that's not convenient. Kitchen door. It's locked for some reason. All right, I guess there's no pomp and circumstance for getting that. All right, tractor. Rusty piece of junk, the sad thing. Whoa. One spent out in the open took its toll on this tractor. It's completely ruined. There isn't even anything to salvage. The sad thing is that the tractor wasn't even old when the world ended. It's not as sad as you might think it is, but yeah, it's sad. The pipes go out far, covering the fields around the house. These pipes seem to cover a lot of area surrounding the house with the irrigation system. Probably something about water, because I just got like a water spigot thing. Short pipe, I'll take that. Thank you. And, uh, haystack. Uh, take a roll in the hay. Nice nap. Poof. Take that hay! Wow, a haystack. I wonder if there's a needle in it. Probably. <laughs> really? There are some seriously big holes in this pipe. <laughs> Alright. Pesticide inlet. I should find a way to get into that house before I start fiddling with things in here. You're probably right. There's a cargo box over here. Oh! Well, I probably can break in with this pipe, but that is convenient on the cargo box. I should find a way to get in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go bash a window open. I'm sure that nobody inside will really mind, right? Really want this thing. Not gonna do me a lot of good for trying to keep it safe inside, but, you know, say la vie, bygones are bygones, and whatnot. This place looks abandoned. Also familiar! Staying here might be a good idea, but I only have a few hours to convert this ruin into a fortress before my nightmare catches up with me. I should look around and explore that road sign might be a good start. Okay. 7.53 a.m. I found an abandoned house. It looks like a good place to stay. I should go out, explore down the road, and look for something to fortify this place with. Okay, this is where my decisions can probably go awry. Okay, painting of a wooden hut. All right. Painting of an old-fashioned- Hey! Hey, that's the- that's the house! That's the one! That's the one! The first one! I, the first one? Maybe the second one? I don't know. This photo of an old lady is taken years ago. The colors have faded a bit, but her warm smile is still clearly visible. The kindling box is empty. The fireplace is empty. Only some ashes from previous use is still scattered all around it. I also think the chimney is clogged. I don't feel any air draft. That's actually good news, at least for now. Yeah, if it gets cold, it's bad news. Um, I'm gonna explore the house first. See if there's anything useful in here. Ladder leading to a ceiling edge. Nope. Okay, I guess it's locked. It's locked and I can't find any means of opening it. All right, good to know. The screen is all cracked and the case seems partially burnt. This PC won't work. Won't or can't. Mirror. This mirror has probably seen better looking faces. Oh, come on. I'm so handsome. You think that I wouldn't be looking at my own face? It's me we're talking about. Come on. A nice view around the wasteland with the moon hanging above like an executioner's axe. Well, that's not, that's not as nice. It's not nice at all, actually. Also, did it get quieter? 
Nice view around the wasteland. Yeah, okay. All right, whatever you say, man. Uh, creepy. What's that? Keys? Oh, keys. That's nice. Okay. Buy milk. I think they never bought that milk. Well, let's check. The fridge is empty. After such a long time without electricity, I'm relieved to know that. <laughs> I've opened the oven. I've also switched it on, but nothing happened. There's no power. All right, well. I've closed the oven and switched it off. Well, all right then. It's locked, but that's probably for the best. Some phone numbers are listed on this piece of paper, but probably not important. Okay. Ah, uh, there's some music. Okay. I think we've gotten everything that we need. Uh, can we use this on the door? Alright. And I guess we should close the door as well, right? That'd be smart. Better close it first. And... Douche. All right, cool. It's locked, but I mean the window's still a problem, but it's locked. All right, good. Um, I guess I'll go this way. Down to the gas station that's probably over here. Oh, no. Destroyed bridge, time to travel 15 minutes. A roadblock, 15 minutes. Okay, well... All right, well, I guess we gotta go somewhere. Destroyed bridge. Would there even be any point of going to the... Ah, shit, I, I can't make any decisions without any knowledge. Small spade, that's good. Oh, you goddamn idiot! This car has been wrecked beyond repair. Maybe I could take its wheel off if I had a wrench. You just broke the shovel! Was that my, o my own eagerness just getting in the way of me? I can't take these planks with me, but they probably could be useful right here by the bridge if I had the proper tools. Well, I got a wooden handle. That's nice. Okay, well, whatever. All right. A ravine. You want me to cross the ravine? This action will take two minutes. Yeah, I guess. Right? Sure. Okay. All right. Two minutes. <laughs> I'm probably going to want those two minutes back by the time I get to where I need to go. Hello? Hello? Anybody? There is a lighter here that could be useful. All right. Nothing left that could be useful. Crowbar. Oh, do you want to free the crowbar using brute force? The crowbar seems to be really stuck in there. It might not be easy to get out with your bare hands. Ah, I guess I'm good. I'll take the hunting rifle, though. Gas canister. Yes, please. It's empty. Well, the container might be useful. Bag of charcoal. Be careful what you pick up. You won't need every single item you find. Well, I mean, what about the charcoal? That seems useful. A newspaper from long ago sits in the magazine stand. Lunar explosion. The world is still in shock after yesterday's explosion that has left our moon with huge cracks visible to the naked eye from Earth. Scientists say that while it may look dangerous, there is no need for concern. The cracks are surface level only and the explosions will have no serious consequences. I'm guessing that's not what happened. The cause of the event is still unknown. Many point to one of the world's largest tech corporations, Sidereal Planet that was rumored to launch a mining operation on the moon earlier this year. The spokesman from the company was denied these claims. Yes, we are preparing for, to dig for helium-3 this autumn, but I assure you we haven't even started. Now, of course, the whole operation is going to be halted until further notice, he adds. Other experts believe the explosion was caught by an undetected meteor that crashed into the moon. Whatever the case might be, the government of the world urged people to remain calm. Well, I guess that didn't go so well. Sody pop! Metal bars. All useful. Oh, uh, it's too heavy. I have to put something down first. Um, well, probably one metal bar is gonna be good. A bag of charcoal is 10 kilograms? Do I need charcoal? Probably not, you know. Since that was the item that was like, you don't need everything. Maybe, maybe I don't need charcoal. Well, I mean, I don't know I don't need charcoal. Ugh, all right, um, well, I don't know if I need two metal bars, but I like the idea of having two metal bars. I really like that idea. Um, um God, I don't I don't like having to make these decisions. These decisions aren't as fun. A small rock. Why am I looking at the window? All right, hang on, here we go. Um, I have a hunting rifle and some bullets. Not a perfect weapon against the bastards, but it will probably help. What else can I do to prepare? Well, I can fix that window. That's the first thing that I could do. The plastic would help with that, right? Probably. A rock! Guys, it's a rock! Item weighs one kilogram. Ah, oh, I can't even pick up a rock. <sighs> All right, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just, I guess, I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna drop this for now. I'm gonna drop those. I'm gonna go get the rock because I like the rock. The rock's gonna be my friend. Everybody say hi to shiny rock. No, uh, teensy rock toony. Ta ta, piddly pebble, Paul, piddly pebble, Peterson, Peter, Peter the piddly pebble, piddle, piddle, petter, 
Peter, Peter. I don't remember. I have no idea. Fuel valves, what do we got? There is a valve from which the fuel should flow, but how do I open it? Good question. How do I open it? Shoot it! I shouldn't do that, but I want to. Hang on, wait, let me see. Save game, here we go. Let me save real quick before I use... Bad idea. Are you sure about that? Are, are you sure about that? You can't see how that would work. Well, you're stupid then. You lack imagination. All right, then, fine. Light it on fire. Not really. All right, whatever. Screw you, you nerd. So I think that's probably everything in here besides the crowbar. I mean, it's only five minutes. So yeah, that's a good idea, right? That was a good idea, probably. I could take another plastic wrap with me. That'd be good. And then I'm pretty full up. I think this is good enough, right? I, I don't know what I need. So I guess I just gotta guess and work back. Just just knowing what I was doing, there was a window that's broken. So logically, oh God, carrying more stuff affects my climbing speeds. Oh God. All right, whatever. Then let's go back home first, drop off some stuff. See if we can, like, I don't know, let's climb in that window. Uh, let's see if we can, like, plastic the window up. It's just hanging there. I still should do something to attach it to the wall around the window. Well, I could burn it. I'm gonna put stuff in here. Remember, your inventory is limited. You can put item here for later use. You can also just drop them on the ground. They will not disappear. All right, we're gonna put the metal, uh, the plastic. We're gonna keep the crowbar. We're gonna put the fuel canister in there. Keep the rock with us. It's a small rock. Small rock smith. No. Puny Rock Percival. That's what he is. That's his name. Puny Rock Percival. No, he's, he's strong. Oh. Uh, Mini Rock Marshall. That'll, that's it. No. Mini Rock Max. Yeah. Mar Marshall. Mini Rock Marshall. Yeah, okay. Mini Rock Marshall. Okay, all right. Mini Rock Marshall. Put a face on that rock. That rock is the new mascot. Get out of here, Tiny Box Tim. You're done. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> we got this. Yay. I don't know what I'm going to need, so I might as well keep the light stuff. Uh, crowbar. Probably useful. All right, Mini Rock Marshall. All right, let's get out of here. Can we just burst through this? Cool. So I put the heavy stuff away. Wait, no. I did not. Let's do that. Okay, that's good. Now we should be able to get more stuff and we don't have to take this goddamn plastic wrap with us. Okay, let's see what else we need. Oh, God. Those corpses are partially eaten. The swarm got them. It looks like these men put up a fight and killed a bunch of the insects, but they didn't stand a chance in the open. Yeah, that's... Obviously true. Something shines between the pieces of the torn bag that he was carrying. Might as well grab it. There was a strange remote controller in the corpse's bag. All right. Ugh. All right, good, great. I have to take a closer look to check out this vehicle. Well, I don't want to do that yet. Ooh, a wrench. Let's hope this will be more useful to me than it was to them. That's right, pretty good. There is a small leaflet tucked between the folds of the ripped clothes. Attention team, as of this week, we've been hired by the locals to help deal with a new kind of locust terrorizing the area. Perhaps we will finally use our sonic repellent device. It fends off different kinds of insects. You just have to install it on the ground, but before you can start counting on it, you have to know exactly what type of insects you're dealing with and set the right frequency with a remote controller. I know this job sounds exhausting and a bit dangerous, but at this point we need the food and fuel the locals are paying with. All right. Okay, let's just search this car. Let's do it. We got plenty of time. The car is busted, so it's not going anywhere. One part that seems to be fine is the ignition coil, but getting it out won't be easy. Well, I don't know that I need it yet, I guess. I could remove the ignition coil, but I would need an adjustable wrench for that. Oh, well, I guess I got one. Well, let's see. 45! Yeah, let's do it. Why not? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why I need it, but um, I got it. I'm wasting my time. All right, bye. See you guys. Thanks for the supplies. Ooh, hey, how you doing there, truck? The back door is locked. Uh, how about a Kruber? There we go. Yeah, I knew I got a good reason for getting that. Yeah, this don't look so good. What have we got? A can of pesticide? Well, that's good. It's locked. Well, is it locked for me? Nah, nah. Nah, 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 yeah, yeah, there we go. Whoa. What the hell is that? Sonic repellent device, drop this item to set it up. Okay. Ugh. All right, why am I carrying that? I don't know. Oh, there's a note, hang on. 
Oh, oh, that's handy. Oh, well, let's take a look at the, that's why I picked this up. Okay. All right. So it's got stubby legs. These things go back. It's got two long pincers. I don't know. Oh, I kept the note. Okay. Here we go. All right. So stubby legs like this legs go back and forward. Stubby pincers and fat legs. I think it's 420. I think 420 is the answer. Yeah. Yeah, 420. Yeah, 420. Yeah. Okay, I think that's everything in here. Oh, God, I didn't notice that guy. Well, I got what I needed, I think, anyway. So, yeah, okay, goodbye, I guess. Let me go drop some stuff off first. I think I got what I need to go get the fuel now. I've got an adjustable wrench, which I know could help out. So let me grab the fuel can. Let me drop off the pesticide. Um, I might need the duct tape. Uh, ignition coil I'm gonna keep here, sonic repellent here, remote controller, keep the crowbar, dead insect and this note can stay here. Ugh. And I'm gonna keep this stuff just in case. And I can grab more if I, oh, if I'm careful about what I bring, I could grab more stuff. I'm guessing I don't need the rifle. I want to keep this rock on me. <sighs> Hammer with a broken handle. Maybe I could do, maybe I could fix this. That won't work. I need a new handle for this hammer. Oh, well, no. Oh. Well, that was easy. But do I need this hammer with me is the question. Yeah, maybe, yeah, why not? Okay, you know what, why not? All right, let's go for it. Let's do this. Uh, Now let's use the wrench on this. There's a valve from which the fuel should open, but how do I open it? With the wrench. There you go. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, wait, no, yeah, I, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, yep, there we go, that's. I'm real dumb, I'm real dumb, real dumb. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. How much did that weigh? Whoa, 10? 10 my left nut! God, I shouldn't have brought all this other crap. <laughs> I really shouldn't have brought this other crap. Um, okay, well, the only thing that I can bring is the metal bars. So I'm gonna bring the metal bars. I meant to bring more plastic, but you know, eh, whatever, I can always come back. Bah. You know, it's fine. Actually, wait, let me, let me save real quick. Maybe I should have saved before. Oh, I'm gonna make so many mistakes. I already know this. I'm gonna stop by this place real quick because I, I want to go to the car right here real quick. It was something else that I need. I have a wrench, so let's take the wheel off. I don't know if we'll be able to carry it. Yes. Apart from almost falling off the cliff once, all went well. I got the wheel. Oh, perfect. All right, good. Then we're good. So we just got to go back and then we got to make sure that we don't die here. So we've got a, uh, we got a buttload of supplies. I don't know what else to get. I don't have nails. Oh, I have duct tape. Okay, so let's get the wheel there. Let's leave the metal grate there as well. We're going to take this plastic and we're going to try to fix it with the duct tape, which makes sense. Put that there. Duct tape. Wait, no. I need nails to do this. Where am I gonna get nails? Hang on. Let me think about this. I could recycle from the, some of the nails that hold this together, but I need a tool for that. <gasps> Hammer? Yes, I need nails. Nails are gonna be better than duct tape, and duct tape has more uses than just getting things to walls. Yeah. We're getting on to something. Yeah. All right, this car seems to be in bad shape. Without taking a moment to inspect it, you can't be sure what it needs to be done, apart from finding a spare wheel, of course. Checking on it will take some time. Yeah, let's do that. Well, the car could be started, I guess, but it doesn't look very good. Obviously, a wheel is missing. The ignition coil is busted and it has no fuel. Well, all right, wait, you want to pour some fuel? Yeah. I fueled the car. I have all those things. I have all those things. <gasps> I have all those things. I have the wheel. It's flat, probably, but I have the wheel and I have the ignition coil. Maybe that would cut down my travel time. Do you want to do this 15 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Ignition coil, 15 minutes? Yeah. I've installed a part. Will the car st- Oh! Hey, hey, hey! Look at that! I don't know if it'll go there because the truck might not be able to jump that, but I should go back, get more fuel then. Yeah. Can't be reached by car. There's a broken bridge in the way. That's right. Oh, that makes sense. But it can help me get, I can get the rest of the supplies. And then I could go grab more gas on foot. Okay, wait, before I do that, hang on, cancel this. Cancel this. All right, before I do that, before I do that, let me grab all of the supplies that I had out of the chest. The kind of tools and shit. Actually, hang on, let me just go ahead and put this up here. Uh, hammer and nails to attach the plastic wrap to the window frame. This action will take 20 minutes. 
Um, I'll hold off on it then. Okay, I'll I'll do that later then. Cause I don't I don't know if I'm gonna need these nails for any particular reason later. Cause I might need them to fix the bridge. Cause maybe the wood I nail it down. Bada bing, bada boom. Eh, I'm not gonna leave anything behind. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna take the truck. Cause why not? It saves time. I've spent the time fixing it up, so I might as well spend the time going here. Broom. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do... Can't take the... Probably use proper tools. I have tools. Would that work? Use hammer on planks. Hammer, this will require one handful of nails, but it will allow you to travel to the ravine without any delays. However, you will still have to stop your vehicle here if you have one. It's 90 minutes. That's a lot of time. But I'm planning for the future here. I'm, I'm planning for the future. And if I'm planning for the future, then this seems like a good idea. Nice. Okay, then I go to the gas station. I get more gas so that I have extra if I want more gas. And then I'm set up for success down the road. I'm guessing that this thing has so much gas in it that it's never gonna run out, hopefully, anyway. All right, what do I got? I can carry um, another metal grate and eventually the bag of charcoal, but you know, they said I didn't need that, so whatever. Cool, 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 tight, tight, tight. Let me see if, um, let me see how I can put this in the generator and see what that does. Fueled up the generator, now I just have to start it. Okay, house. It choked, didn't start. Come on, start already. Yay, it's running. Shocking. That's good, right? Oh, we have power. Well, la di da la di da Holy shit, we're really turning this place into a home. Let me try to use the Krober on the patch. I wouldn't be able to pry it open anyway. I should just leave it for now. Okay, whatever you say, man, you big baby. Okay, so that window's fine. This window is fine. So in order to shore up this thing, what I'm gonna do is I need to get more nails. I need more, uh, I need more nails. I need more nails. All right, so I got the, I'm gonna actually do the window this time. All right, get that up. Do you want the plastic hammer and the nails attached to plastic wrap to the window? Would it be better? Okay, would it be better? I'm curious. Like, because my instinct tells me if insects are gonna be getting there, the plastic would keep it out because of mosquitoes. But what if I double do it? What if I do it double style? Because maybe I, maybe I only have so many nails. It's just hanging there. What if I do double? Is there something else in the window? I should remove it first. Uh, so I can't do double. My only question is that I don't know if these bugs are gonna like slip through the bars. Cause they might, they might slip through. So I guess until I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, I wanna go get more gas cause I can. Cause I have the time for it, I think anyway. Might as well go get more gas. And get that last piece of plastic before the night. Ooh, planks. Oh, cool. Put these in the truck storage. Okay, I'm gonna head to the bridge real quick. I'm gonna hop out. I'm gonna go west. I'm gonna grab even more fuel because I've got the time. I'm gonna run through here real quick and just double check. Cash. Oh, well, you never know. Maybe it's gonna be worth something again someday. <laughs> yeah, probably not, but okay. I like your optimism. Okay, the plastic wrap. If I have the time, I want to make sure that I have fuel. I don't know if I'm going to need this much fuel, but having having a full canister of fuel cannot be a bad thing. Uh, and then I got just enough for the charcoal. Ah, well, fancy that. And I think I've cleared this entire place out. Nice. I don't know if the charcoal is worth anything. Honestly, I don't. All right, so there are four hours and 15 minutes left. What I have to do is I have to shore up this house to make sure that the bugs can't get in and eat my flesh. I am unsure about the strength of a plastic sheet on the window, but at the same time, not the worst idea. Because maybe they would slip right through the holes of the, um, the metal grate. So, uh, I just gotta make a call. Also, we've got this sonic device, but I'm not 100% sure about how to utilize it, if it needs to be, like, in the house. I don't know if that helps? Does that help? I, I have no idea. I'm gonna take more stuff from the greenhouse, just because I wanna get all of it. Because I just remembered something. In my dream, the one where I died, those little bastards just blasted right the heck through my entire day. They they didn't care that there was glass there, so I need something, at the end of the day, I need something stronger than glass, I think. And I think that the metal is the best idea? 
just for if if okay it's the have it's the heavier thing i'm thinking that it's the better idea I, the, I mean i've also got planks of wood i i guess i could planks are too rotten and fragile to be of any use here yeah yeah that makes that makes sense yeah it makes sense could put them in the fireplace i guess or save them for the fireplace but i'm thinking okay they gave three plastic sheets and then three metal bars i'm thinking that the metal bars are i've got three windows in the place i think that that's Oh wait, there's a window. Hang on a second. Okay, no, you can't do that, okay. I'm thinking that the metal bars, there's three broken planks, there's three of these things. I feel like it's Minecraft again. I've got three of these. If I make them in like a T-shape, I can make a shirt. Nice armor, get that. I'm gonna carry this on me now. Ah, uh, indecision is crippling me. Maybe I could put this in the kindling box? I don't have any fuel in the kindling box. I don't plan on lighting a fire for now. That's fair. Okay, all right. I know I've saved my game like 15 times now, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna commit to this. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna, I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna go, we're going for it. Man, I guess I could try the pesticide thing, but I don't know what the pesticide would be for. Why would I need that? I mean, pesticide, yeah, the bugs, but I don't know if that's actually gonna help. Is it gonna help? Would it help? I don't know, man, there's no crops. Why would I bother with that? Let's save it until we know we need it. Yeah, let's do that, okay. All right, I'm done pussyfooting around with indecision. It's time to get good or get gone. I'm gonna get, we're gonna get good. I'm gonna go for the metal, cause I'm metal. No, not, not that. I'm, I'm gonna go for the metal because I'm metal. As hell. You want to hammer the nails and attach the metal bars? Yes, I do. I want, yeah, exactly. Okay. I installed iron bars in one of the windows. Is there anything else I can do? Not a thing. Not a damn thing. Let's put, let's put, get some more. Get some more metal. Oh yeah. Here we go, baby. Oh yeah. Now this is what I have been talking about. Yeah, this is what I've been talking about. This is what I've always talked about. Everyone knows this. All right, here we go. Guys, this is gonna be, this is the real deal. This is what, this is when genius level gameplay, like this is what you really signed up for, right? This is the kind of top tier 200 IQ thinking that you guys really appreciate. So those iron bars, they're not going nowhere. Yeah, they're not going nowhere. Oh, we're getting cozy up in here. Oh yeah, and you know what else I'm gonna do? You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set up the sonic device right here in the living room. They ain't never gonna get in here. No, no, no. No way, no how. And I think it's 420. 420. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive. I am 100% positive. Because this four leg sticky outy long pincers, four leg sticky outy long pincers, that's what that is, right? Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, cool. So I think we're kind of good, right? There's some time left in the day, but I don't, I don't know what else we could get. I think we've scavenged everything we possibly could. I think we're good. Yeah, let's let's save her up. <laughs> Another, I'm out of sla save slots already. Let's save her up. Let's do this. Let's do this. Are the doors locked? Make sure. Let me make sure. Is it locked? Okay, it's locked. Okay, it's locked. Okay, those are locked. Time to Time to go. Here we go. Pick one item for your inventory that you would like to equip during the night, or cancel if you don't want to finish the day just yet. Oh god. How about a wrench? Because I don't think a gun would be good to shoot bugs. I'll do a wrench, yeah. I'll do the wrench. Yeah, it didn't really help the other guys, but you know, it'd probably be better than a gun. Yeah, let's do this. An evening sky darkened as the black cloud of the swarm arrived. You found a hiding place in an abandoned farmhouse. You deployed the sonic repellent device to fend off some of the insects. It was placed inside the hideout. The walls probably weakened- Oh, shit. The device seemed to be set to the correct frequency, fending off 25 insects. Oh, god damn it! The front door was closed, keeping away all the 35 locusts that would have entered through it. The back door was closed, keeping away all the 35 locusts. Yeah. The window on the ground floor was reinforced with metal bars. The bars were nailed to the frame. Out of 35 insects that tried to enter the house through that window, nine were stopped. Oh. The window on the upper floor was reinforced. Out of 35, 10 were stopped. Oh. The bathroom was reinforced. The bars were nailed to the frame. Oh. They got in. Oh. A wrench was your last line of defense. You managed to knock down 20. Oh, God, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. 
The death was painful and slow, not merciful at all. That was a painful death, just like in your nightmare. Maybe there was something that could have been done to prevent it. Oh, right. I'm just gonna pick this up and, uh... <laughs> oh, well, shit! Right, so that was very death. First of all, we're gonna put this bad boy right here. Drop that bad boy right there. I put the Sonic Norse, it should scare off some of the ins- so I configured it right. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, 420, okay, all right. No weak signals here. All right, so I'm gonna also do, like, the insecticide stuff, because I'm thinking now that maybe- Maybe I shouldn't wait. Maybe- maybe waiting isn't the best option. Maybe waiting is not exactly what, uh, what, uh, we were hoping for. Uh, okay, let's do- let's do some of this, okay? First off, we're gonna fix this bad boy. We're gonna fix it- fix it right up. We're, we're gonna fix it. Whoa, we're gonna fix it right up. Yeah, fix that bad boy. Okay, that's fixed. Good. Put enough duct tape to make it last till the end of time. Well, until Thursday, that is. Why? What happens Thursday? What are you saying? What happens Thursday? <laughs> All right, so then we're gonna put some insecticide in here. Then we're gonna switch this over because we don't need house power. Why would we need house power? Water pump. And water pump and irrigation control system. Okay, overnight mist spray irrigation. This should cause the night sky to be soaked with a dense mist. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh, so it's it's a puzzle. Well, good thing I'm so good at these. Done. Ha ha ha! All right. I scheduled the water sprinklers to put out some wall of mist with some extra pesticide solution. Can I improve my chances somehow? Okay, what if I... Do I have to use all of it, though? I think that using all of it might be unwise. Okay, we're gonna close this. We're gonna lock that up. Close this. We're gonna lock that up. We're gonna duct tape the window. Ooh. Wait, no. I already got- They're already affixed. They're already there. It's already perfect. All right, cool. Let's save her up. I think now we're gonna have a much better solution to this. All right, ready? Who's ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's take the red. Dad, perfect. Okay, here we go. Found a hiding place in a house. Automated sprinkler system kicked in as the swarm was getting near. Despite being old and faulty, the sprinklers worked perfectly. Yes, fully covering the air above the fields with a dense mist. As a result, 32 insects were stopped by the sprinklers. Yes. There was a strong pesticide mixed with the water, making this wall of water more dangerous to the incoming swarm. Killed 24 insects. Yes. Deployed the sonic repellent to fend off some of the insects. It was placed near your hideout so the signal was strong. The device seemed to be set to the correct frequency, fending off 50. Yes. Front door was closed, keeping away 19. Back door, 19. Window. Bars were nailed to the frame. Nine were stopped. Ten were stopped. Ten were stopped. 27. That's a lot. Oh. Oh, God. Seven got through. Their bites were painful as their tiny, sharp teeth shredded your skin. But it wasn't enough to kill you. Somehow you managed to tear the, each attacker off your body and kill it in a chaotic, dirty fight. Wait, no. What? No. Wait. No, stop. I don't want to know this. Wait, no. Stop. I can do better. I know I can do better. I can do better. Guys, say it with me. I can do better. I can do better. Doesn't sound like words anymore. I can do better. 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 You gotta believe me. I can do better. Okay, let me do... I want to try something else. No, not that. I want to try this. Hang on. Yeah. Now, I got this. Hang on. Guys, I can do better. Everybody, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so now... I switched it out to plastic wrap. I don't know if that's gonna be better than the metal, but I also used double the pesticide. So hopefully... Hopefully it'll be fine. And I'm gonna use the gun. Not that I think it's gonna be any good, but I'm gonna use the gun. Okay, so we're all good. Let's use the gun. Let's see what happens. Okay, found a hiding place. Uh, 32 were stopped by the sprinklers. 48 killed by the pesticide. That's pretty good. Let's see, uh... 50 insects gone, 14, 14. Out of 14 insects that tried to enter the through that window, 14 were stopped! Yes, plastic is the correct answer. Ah. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Oh, plastic was right. Ah, oh. ah, oh. ah. Oh. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. That's all of them. You fended off all the insects before they even entered the house. You went to bed early and had a well-deserved rest, allowing you to regain some strength. Plus five kilogram permanent carry weight. You 
saying that shit. Okay, cool. Great. Got that. Now, now I can know what the hell is happening here. Wow. A helo chopter. Oh, god damn you to hell. Uh oh, it's my it's my dream. Uh oh. Well, this ain't too good. Uh, let's see. Little It's locked. The window. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh what the hell? I'm burning a lot. Oh god. Okay. Well, I'm dead now. Ah. Well, that's no good. Okay. Well, that's a problem. What was that? The attic? Yeah, okay, all right, well. A destroyed barricade. Destroyed? Des destroyed Bullshit. What do you mean destroyed? Did they actually destroy it all? Oh, shit, they did. I didn't know that that was temporary. Well, shit. Well, anyway, so that is all the time I have for this episode of Don't Escape 4. But I want to play through this whole thing. And uh, there's four days. Four days in the wasteland, so... One a day an episode, and uh, I will <laughs> look forward to playing through this. We gotta go up into the attic next, but thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!